All right, we have two more stories in this ethology unit, two more applications of animal behavior that we need to look at. I'm gonna start with a little image right here. I think it's very nice. I had to put all these little bits together. Notice we have two female lions. These are lionesses. They're wearing watches so they can stay in sync with each other with their times they have three little babies here who are going to be kings later on but in order to be kings they have to leave the pride and conquer another pride which is a fancy name for a group of lions so there's a couple really interesting things about being in sync here so it turns out that lionesses will sync up their estrus period and the estrus refers to a time when they are on heat which means they're ready to reproduce what that means is they tend to get pregnant at the same time and they tend to have babies at the same time and when they're trying to raise these little dudes they can actually take turns taking care of the kids while they go out to hunt and try to get animals and food and everything like that so having the kids at the same time means that they can actually take care of each other's kids as well too there's one more kind of evolutionary advantage to having their estrus cycles in sync and that is that in order for let's see for these little boys to actually reproduce in the future when they get older they actually have to leave their home their pride and go out and conquer another pride by like fighting off other males um, they're more successful when they do that in groups when they go out with their brothers and do that so one dude going on to take on a pride not very successful but if two or three of them go as a triple or a pair they're much more likely to drive away the males in another pride and therefore be able to actually be successful and make babies in the future so another advantage of them being in sync is that since the babies all get born at the same time the male cubs tend to grow up and they tend to leave the pride at the same time it's about three years after they've been born they get kicked out and uh, they can go out and fight together or be on their own but because they can go out together and they're about the same age there's a much higher chance that they will reproduce and be successful in passing on the genes to the next generation so that's what this diagram is kind of showing in sync they're wearing watches to stay in sync the lionesses and then you have the cubs going out together so really quickly on the left here is what we're focusing on this is the story that we just tried to tell synchronized estrus in lionesses so the estrus is a recurring period of sexual receptivity and fertility in many female mammals sometimes we say it's on heat the equivalent would be like the menstrual cycle in humans right the egg gets released only at a certain time during that small window is when the chance of actually getting pregnant is very high. So lionesses stay in the pride they're born in. The little male cubs get kicked out when they're three years old. They can only make babies in the future if they overcome the males of another pride by fighting. Two related males may end up fighting together, which is why it's a good idea if they actually leave the pride at the same time. Um, so if they have their estrus synchronized they mate at the same time they have cubs at the same time they can care for each other's cubs when they're out hunting you know take the babysit for each other and the cubs have a higher chance of living also when these cubs go out at the same time to go fighting if they leave at the same time they can compete for dominance dominance more effectively and they have an increased chance of reproduction so these traits tend to pass on, and then so you end up with lionesses that have estrus in sync together. Really cool stuff. Finally, our last example of animal behavior in this ethology unit is to understand an example here, which is kind of a learned behavior. You have an animal here, a bird called a blue tit. And the type of behavior they exhibit is pecking on caps of milk bottles. So this is a learned behavior as this behavior started to spread across Europe as these birds were able to see each other exhibiting these behaviors. Now, as we've talked about before, learned behaviors tend to, they can disappear a lot faster, they can show up a lot faster because it's not a genetic component. So all we had to do is change one little factor. Nowadays, just people aren't using as many milk bottles and people are drinking a lot more skim milk and less milk with cream but i guess these blue tits really like some cream so uh don't leave your cream out on the porch